It's revival time again from the Deeper Life Bible Church. Healing and health, deliverance and dominion are the children's bread. And if you are not yet a child of God through the new birth, you can become one and get healed and delivered as you listen to these exciting testimonies, powerful preaching, and partake in the prayer session that cannot be overlooked in the cuts of heaven. You will never be the same again. Happy listening and God bless you. Street, Ari or say Major Sibata Wai Mo Mo Bere Joy ni Odu nineteen eighty seven Loto Moti Jani Kondo Jakwe is job to motor to love at Tony Shimefa or see a young uncle put on it by job for me. Shuban Mo Rekwe Mo wa Mori Mori no or not openi like Jakwe on Re Shek Parakuni. Loto Mo Jani to Tong Corny to Jakbo man to Jamapo Manshua Jori or Kwe Mo Wani no do any. Like je pe mi ti ti ko josun ara ranu gbagbo sugbon mo dupe lowo olorun oba to mu mi wa sinu ijo yi to je pe o mu mi kuro ni ku eru o so mi di omo tori mo je elese pupo mo je ni to ma rin idoru to ma se ategan sugbon gba ti mo de ijo yi mo ri ara mi olorun de gba mi patapata mo dupe ni owo olorun fun ile ba mi jesus logo ogo fo ri pe bi se tesi waju oro olorun wa jile sinu aye mi to be ge to je pe gba to to akoko I want a daddy one banyan, brother Jibusi, oh one only sooner leader wan banyan, sister Sarah, oh dear ja area leader wa or let it make a rabbi if I yeah for eh bere sima she shall you know by jara mini or tio mini or one kakay ready mini me to me tini cocolo to ama mini mi raye musha musha ko jale ha ulara be remi sister sera u to abba mi kwe mashi be ya ye sisha for lua but if I am in my fishes of alone, but do I am for alone? Mori pay, get at more do I am for alone? That's my sister, no, by Jara, no longer say Yanu and my Yemi. So one more test, why do um, and it's all just on a leader, brother wrote to me, who shall I have to pay by, 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 or you shut him on say you go, don't come on. Only came, only came off his left, only came, came manage, only keep blessing my share, Nisho, only need the cake in Latin, my daddy, Mofi Baboba, Mumati call. Yeah, you wait, you wait, cause like I see it go be orthopedic hospital. What you lost your dumb age back on scene? What you are sorry, you know, you're quiet. So, one knee or your logo call is your care, don't go see that. Why, Pastor, why, that's a little job along. Oh, wow, so Lori, I will say, I do that. No, don't know, you lost now. We are doing that. Nipa will go to bond or I come with bond. We talk about no, or don't you come on my year. What can I do that? Believe this now. We are to do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can wa di jo friday mo fi ara meji fun awe ati adura mo ba gba adura bi se jele lati bi ti mo ti lo ko ni ni emi yen fe ni kin joko emi yen ni kin ma joko kin jade bi de se jade gere ti mo nlo brother wa na the zona leader mo to pade lona la n sa nfo mi jo mi to roro bi ti mo ti duro pelu water and soro lowo be ni arabirin to ba won gan si eh ile ise ni orthopedic hospital won to la rabirin gun se gbo oya mi lenu pe arabirin fe se rin joyen bo se sawo si ni mi niyan pe kin wa bo se ni kin wa ni ah mi ni ejo sa o nba toro aye ba lo ba rabirin yen pe ki majina so ohun o kin wa o bi wa ti ma lo sa ni ijerin bo se fun mi ni appointment letter ni yen without interview sorry e ba mi ni jesus logo olorun mi se olorun olorun ta si o je iyanu ejo Eh, Pastor Wa, ni ni eleje Yoruba, o ti se die seyin ati brother, brother mi kan ni bi oni oni ise iranse oni kin gba. Ah, mi ni ejo sa. Mi ni owo ni kekeyin rere, mi ni mi 
mi mi ro pe mo le se ah oni ki ma ko se oluwa mi ni mo ti gbo sa pelu mo sa ti ra mo pelu ko jo pe eyan ti ra ka gba nkan ba ni mo gba be sa sugbon gele ti mo bere si fi aye mi sile fun olorun ni okukudun olorun ma ndabira nu aye mi o nkan to aye mi lenu ni pe ona to ti di raw raw bi ai mo yo du seyin bi ona bi merin ko la le nkan na ni e ba mi yin jesus logo e e jo mo fi akoko iro gbogbo awa ta je ta da bi jona ta wa nu oko yin rere yi awon mi pe ka jo wa ye wa patapata fun olorun ta ba ro pe nipa agbara wa la fi le se o nkohun yori iro ni gbogbo e iro ni o an tan ra wa ni o mo fi akoko igba wa niyan ju pe e je keni yo wu ti aba to ba pe fun ise ran se e je ka se tori pe lai je pe olorun ba yan yan eyin o le fi are si be ki a fi ara wa fun olorun nigba e lolorun ma to yan oju aye wa pata yan oju oro aye wa pata pata e ba mi yin jesu logo logo let us pray e je ki agbadura almighty god we thank you for this day olorun oluduwari adupe lowo yin po ojo oni yi we bless your name because we still remember today that you are a good god afi ibukun fun oruko yin nitori pe aturan ti pe eje olorun ti o dara sibe loni we thank you because you have taught us that it is by your power you created the whole world the whole universe adupe nitori pe etun ran wa leti pe nipa agbara nla yin ni e fi da gbogbo aye yi and we know that your power has not changed asimo daju pe agbara yin ko ti yi pada and what if whatever needs to be changed in our lives you have the power you have the ability to do everything o yo wu ti o ba si ni lo ke yi pada ninu aye wa eni pa ati agbara na lati se ngugo we are praying o oh lord that today all the things that need to be taught that need to be renewed that need to be changed you will touch them change them renew them in our lives in jesus name an gbadura loni wi pe o ngbogbo ti o ni lo atun se o ngbogbo ti o ni lo isodo tun o ngbogbo ti o ni lo ke fi owo kan ninu aye wa e o tun se e o sodo tun e o si yi wa pada patapata ni uruko jesu we have great expectation in your sight before you even today ani ireti ti o ga lopolopo ni waju yin bi ati wa ni waju yin loni and we pray that as we pray and as we believe in you that will definitely touch every one of us this very time in jesus name asigbagbo wi pe bi ati ngbadura bi ati ngba yin gbo loni e o fi owo kan olukuluku ani ona ti o daju ni uruko jesu we thank you because we know it is done adupe nitori amo wi pe ti se in jesus name we pray ni uruko jesu ni agbadura For some weeks now we have been dealing with special topics uh, concerning how we can have deliverance and total freedom from the powers of darkness. Fo awon ose die seyin bayi ni atin soro lori awon iwasu akanse nipa bi asele ni idande kuro lowo gbugba agbara okunko. And the last two weeks I emphasize the place of praying and fasting one in individual life and two corporately as a family as a church as a group of people together. Ni awon ose meji ti o si koja seyin mo tenu mo pataki awe ati adura gbigba gege bi enikokan ati gege bi agbajopo boya gege bi ijo tabi ebi tabi orilede and i have assured you that if we are doers of the word and not hearers only a lot of things will be affected in our lives positively mo si fi mu da yin loju pelu wi pe bi a ba je olu se oro na ti a si n se gbogbo ti oro na so nfo wa lati se opolopo oni yo yi pada ninu aye wa and i believe that as you take hold of these messages and the promises of the word of god that mighty things will be happening in your life in jesus name mo si gba gbo pelu wi pe bi o ti n ko bi ara si awon wa su ti o si n fi owo ti o ni pon mu oro na mo gba gbo wi pe awon nlala ni yo ma sele ninu aye wa ni uruko jesu today i want to talk to you on changing destiny through faith loni mo fe ba yin soro lori yi yi ipin tabi ayan mo pada nipa igbagbo there are some people that have difficulties and problems and they will say well maybe that is my choice in life and it appears things will never be changed but i want to assure you you can change whatever needs to be changed in your life through faith in god awon miran wa ti won ma ni awon oke isoro tabi wahala kan ninu aye won 
wa si wi pe o da boya ipin tabi ayan mo temi ni nitori na ko ni lati se nko ni pare sugbon loni mo fe mu do loju pe o n gbogbo lo le yi pada ninu aye re ni pa igbagbo sometimes there are people that are so discouraged because of their situation that they don't even listen when the possibility comes to have a change awon mi na ti le wa ni gba miran ti o je pe nitori isoro tabi wa la ti won doju ko won ki teti sile See on a bio, nigga, see on a bio by your juicy one. And yet, there is no difficulty that anybody has in a personal life or in family relationship or in any other area of life that cannot be changed if you have faith in God. See, be, kusi wa si ru shoro ki shoro kan, kusi ru wa la ki wa la kan ti ane kan le ni ni no aye re tabi ni no ebi re ti akule yipada bioba ni bagbo ni no lono ala ye. If you give in to your difficulties and you say that it is a hopeless case, it can never be changed. It means you don't have faith in the mightiness of God. Ti o bagba kamo ni no ishoro re ti o si wipe anyama mi ni tabi ipin mi ni tabi pe ko le yi pada o tun mo si pe o ko ni igbagbo ni olorun alagbara If we know that the might of God is so great and that there is nothing impossible for God whatever difficulties or problems we have we will believe in God and a change will come Bi a bagbagbo wipe agbara olorun ati ipa re ko ni osun won ti a si mo daju pe ko si on ti ko le ise and I will show you people in the Bible that believed in God, and as a result of their faith in God, the negative things in their lives were changed. Most of you are not here. You are not here. Ti o je pe ni tori igbagbo ti won ni ninu Olorun, awon ti o lodi ti o sele ninu aye won yi pada. Let's look at First Chronicles chapter four. Eje ka wo Chronicles kini ori kini. And I'm reading to you from verse nine to verse ten. Mo si inka la ti esai ke so ti ti di esai ke wa. If you have never read this passage before, note it very well and mark it in your Bible. Bi o ko ba ti ka ibi yiri tele ni no bi beli re ki esi giri giri ki o si falasi ni di. If you have read it before, listen again and see what the Lord is telling you through the example of this man. Bi o ba ti ka tele ri ton teti sile ni akoton ki o ba le gbo ohun ti oluwa fe so fun wa ni pase oro re yi In First Chronicles chapter 4 from verses 9 and 10 Lati nu we Chronicles kini ori kerin ese ikesan ati ike wa And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren and his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bear him with sorrow Jabez si si ololaju awon arakunrin re lo ya re si pe uruko re ni Jabez wi pe nitori ti mo bi pelu ibanuje and Jabez called on the name of the God of Israel saying oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast and that thine hand might be might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted him that which he requested Jabe si si ke pe Olorun Israel wi pe iwo ibajebu kun mi ni toto ki o si so agbegbe mi di nla ki owo re ki o si wa pelu mi ati ki iwo ki o ma si je ki emi ri bi ki emi ma si ri ibinu je Olorun si mu nti o toro se This man was born with sorrow abi okun yi pelu ibinu je and the mother gave him the name that will show him and always remind him that he was born in sorrow. Iya re si fun ni oruko kan o so oruko kan ti o ma ran leti pe inu ibinu je gan labi si. And as that name was repeated over and over again, it became so much impressed upon him that he was a child of sorrow. Bi asitin pe oruko yi pe lojojumo ti an te mo lara be lo ran leti pe omo banu je lo nje. And friends and neighbors and well all people around and immediately they called the name they always saw sorrow suffering shame difficulty all attached to his life because that's the way he was born gbogbo awon ore ati awon julumo ati awon abatan re ni gba kugba ti won ba pe loruko yi ni won ma ri wi pe ohun ti o tumo si ninu aye re ni ibanuje ijiya inira ati itiju nitori oruko ti a fi npe yi there are people that are born in difficult circumstances. It may be that the mother got pregnant uh, to a man who is not the husband and eventually the person became born. Or maybe the mother got pregnant to a man who is not the husband and eventually the person became born. 
Latin by our Gabia as if you were sinister. And therefore, the person was born in shame and in poverty and in agony. Never bear our beer when he is in it to you, sinu in Nira at his new for you. Always asking, I want to know my father, I want to know my father, but the shame. The sorrow, the suffering of not really being able to lay hand upon the father is always there. Tio si je pe ni gba gbogbo ni omo yo ma bere pe mo te fe mo baba mi mo fe men to bi mi lomo nitori itiju ati inira ati ijiyaye o ma ni ibanu je ni gba gbogbo ninu okan re. Other people are born with a kind of deformity from birth. Awon mi won wa ti abi won pelu iru arun kan lati nu wa and it may be a kind of deformity that is known to people. Every time you see that individual, you will see that deformity because she was born that way. He was born that way. Ole je iru aron ti o man te te para ni no aye niya. Bakwa yi choje gwe niya man te te ri. Nik bakwa si ri bo yon konin tabi obini ni. Ngori wipe bi ati bi eni yi ni yi. And such a deformity and such a problem will be causing that person sorrow. In the room, in the private place, will be weeping all the time. Iru aron ye. Tabi, tabi iru a isan yi. Yo mamu iba no je wasi no aye ni. Yo si mamu ke o son yon e kwa son. Da ni bagbo bo ni bati yon ba da wapon rade. There are some people that are born in a family that already have a curse upon that family. And as they were born into that family, they inherited the curse. Awa mi nan wa ti abi si nou ebi kan. Ti yo si je kwe e gong wa. Lori ebi nan. Ki ato bi wan. Bi as ti bi wan ni wan jogon e gong yi. And all the children of that family, they inherit that curse. So everybody already knows them that in that family, ladies don't get married. In that family, uh, they don't make progress. In that family, they die at a particular age. And this cause that this individual realizes will be bringing sorrow every time. Ninu iru ebi be, wan ti ma wama e go kan patu, pe bugwa wama ti ababi sinu ebi yi, awan wama bini wama ki loko. Bugwa wama ti wano ebi yi, wama ki ni te si wajo. Tabi pe ni ako kokan patu, ti wano ti dagba to, biyo te kwa dagba to ni wosha dede kui kui o jiji. Wansi ti ma wipi pe, Iru e gunti owa lori ebi bene yi. Sometimes when the mother was pregnant, it may be that uh, there was a fight in the village or in the community. And the person the mother was fighting with put a curse and uh, put a problem upon the child yet unborn. Immediately that child is born, the child begins to carry problem. Nigba miran, ole je kwe ni abule, nigba ti yi, oma yishi wa, ninu onyo, ole je kwe ya reba elu miran ja. Ki eni ti osi bajan yi wa fire, ki osi wipe, Oma reba iba ni yo shele si oma ti akuti ibi Oma na yo si bere si igbe shoro nan ka akri ingba ti ababi What I'm trying to explain and illustrate to you is that There are people that are born in sorrow Born with suffering Born with deformity Born under a cause Born in problem And many of those people will say Well that is my love That's the way I'm born And they will not know how to change their destiny From sorrow unto joy On ti mo ngu yon ju La ti la yi on ni wipe Anwen yon ni yon wa Ti abisi nu iba no je Ti abisi nu itiju, ti abisi nu inira, ti abisi abe egon, ti abisi abe ishoro kan tabi o mina la ti odota. Iru anwen abe esi man gba kamu, wane, unko kuku, pe ase pi mini, ipo imini, wanko sume bi ati iyi ishoro eni kwa dasi ayo. And in verse 10 we are told Jabez called on the name of the God of Israel. He called on the God of Israel. Ni esa ike wa asi sopo wa wipe, Jabez isi kekwe olonu Israeli. O kekwe olonu Israeli. Now you see, he may not have had somebody like a prophet, like a preacher, like a pastor to pray for him. But he said, I will change this destiny. Oma, o se se ki o ma ni eni keni gege bi olusio agutan gege bi woli gege bi oni wa su lati gbadura fun sugbon wi pe ni temi o won yi ipun yi pada no counselor no advisor nobody to intercede for him no intercessor but he said i don't care whether i have people or not i'm going to change this destiny from sorrow unto joy ko si agbani ni moran ko si abani kedun ko si eni keni ti o ntu ninu sugbon wi pe Yala, agbani ni mwana wata biko si, mwo yi ba nu je temi yi kwa da si ayo. That should be our attitude. Yon ti yo yeki wa si wajja ni yi. You have the Bible. Oni bibeli. We have the name of God. Ani oruko alano. We have the name of Jesus. Ani oruko Jesu. We have faith in the promises of God. Ani igbagbo ni nwa wwa liri alano. And by the grace of God, we have leaders in the church, coordinators and other leaders. Ni kori of yon alano kwe lu, atoni a wwa dadi ni nu ijo, a wwa la koswe kwa ti a wwa dadi minan kwe lu. And we also have pastor. Atoni o lishu agunta. And by the grace of God as we all unite our faith together. From this very night I'm believing your destiny will be changed from sorrow unto joy in Jesus name.
lati asa leyi lo mo gbagbo daju daju pe ibanu jere yo yi pada yo si di ayo ni oruko Jesu what you need to do is to agree with me together when i begin to pray for you ohun ti oni lati se ni pe ki o fun so kan pelu mi ni gba ti mo ba bere si gbadura fun o i know that if the life and destiny of jabes was changed Yours will be changed. Ki o si mo daju pe bi a ba le yi igbesi aye ati ipun ijabesi pada a o yi ti re pelu pada. That no enemy can hinder the promises of God in your life. Pe ko si ota kota ti o le de na ileri Olorun ninu aye re. No mountain can resist the power of God in your life. Ko si si oke kan kan ti o le de na agbara Olorun ninu aye re. No demon can say that God will not work mightily in your life. Ko si si emi ai mo kan kan ti o le wi pe oku bi ti Olorun yo gba sise ninu aye re. Jesus called on God you will call upon God. Jabesi ke pe Olorun iwo pelu yo ke pe Olorun. He said one person will put a thousand enemies to flight. O wi pe enikan soso yo le egberun otasa. And so your enemies and your problems and your mountains may be up to 1000 you will get rid of them. Nitori na awon ota re ati isoro re ati wahala re le to egberun kan o gbogbo re lo bori won. Then he said two of us shall put 10000 to flight. O to wa wi pe awa meji yo le If you believe that this very night, this very evening, as we pray together, that your destiny will be changed, it will be changed. Ti o ba gbagbo pe ni asale yi ni iro leyi bi a tin gbadura papo pe ipin re a o yi pada daju daju a o yi pada If all the things in your life have been up and down sorrowful shameful suffering all difficulties in your way if you believe together with me tonight this thing can be changed Bi o ba je pe ni gbogbo igbe aye re isoro loni ogun lola ni ko si ifokan bale ko si isegun loni gbogbo isoro ati wa la yi ni a o yi pada bi o ba gba olorun gbo pelu ni All the Jabez did is that called upon God. Ogbo ko ti Jabesi se ni pe o ke pe Olorun. Ni bon any candle. Ko fi ko ta abela. Ni bon any incense. Ko fi turari jona. He didn't go to wear a special kind of garment. Ko lo lati gbe aso gere je kan wo. He wasn't lying on the ground rolling on the ground. Ko so sile ki o bere si yikiti kiti nile. He wasn't drinking oil or water. Ko bere si mu o o eroro tabi omi. He wasn't memorizing anything. Ko bere si ko nko la ko sori. He wasn't using any waistband. Ko bere ko ko so nde tabi igbadi mondi. The name of God is strong tower oruko oluwa ile iso agbara ni and the righteous runeth into it and is saved olododo si sa wa inu re o si ye and you have that name with you today iwo pelu si ni oruko yi pelu re loni and as we call upon that name together destiny will be changed bi a o si se kepe oruko na papo daju daju a o yi ipin re pada well i told you of this man mo ti so fun ni pokunrin yi na he told god he said oh that thou would have blessed me indeed o so fun olorun ni pato o ni iwo ibajebu kun mi ni toto that should be your prayer kun ti o ye ki adura re That God should take us away and bring blessing upon you. Pe ki Olorun ki o mu ego kuro ki o si mu ibukun wa sori re. Take problems away and fulfill his promises in your life. Ki o mu awon asoro kuro ki o si mu ileri re so ninu aye re. Wipe your tears away and put laughter and joy in you. Ki o nu emi je re nu ki o si pa olerin ki o mu ki ayo re fun. Drive your enemies away and turn everyone to be friends. Ki o le awon ota re jina re re ki o si so awon ti o ye o ka di ore re. Take all the things that are pricking you and take every pain away. And then give you ease and health in your life. Ki o yo gbogbo egun ati gbogbo inira ti o ni ninu aye re ki o si mu ki o gbogbo ki o tu ba ki o tu se fun o. Take that poverty away and feed you with all that you need for your body and for your soul. Ki o mu gbogbo osi ati ai ni yi kuro ninu aye re ki o si fun o ni o gbogbo ti o ni lo fun emi okan ati ara re. And it said and enlarge my coast. O si tu wi pe ki o si so agbegbe mi din la. Enlarge my coast. So agbegbe mi din la. What does that mean? Ki ni eleyi tumo si. It means many things for different people for husband and wife who have been married and there is no child a large michael and somebody who has been in business and there is no progress at all and he is not even almost losing his capital a large michael for somebody who is a farmer but who is only having a little plot of land and is never able to plant a very much a large mycos when the country of the agbe sugar to je pe ile oko kekere ni o ni o tin da lati odun modun sai ti ko sile igboro oni 
So I do with me din la. But somebody will say trader, but then he doesn't have a customers only about two or three people that will come to buy a large micro. When it just is there, only only so we should mature jape and you be made to meet alone while baraja only so I do with me din la. For somebody who has been a Christian, but his influence is not really pronounced on many people to turn them to the Lord. A large micro. When it just is Christian, he need to touch you mature jape. Only part of your key only Lord. Yeah, yeah. When we mirror beauty, you like me what's on the lower. Only so I do with me din la. Then he said that thine hand might be with me. Do you know the meaning of that? If you read in the New Testament, it says the hand of the Lord was with them, and mighty signs and wonders were wrought. And he said that thou wouldest keep me from evil. Keep me from wickedness. Keep me from mischief. Keep me from people that want to hurt me. Keep me from those who are running after me that want to destroy my life. That it might not grieve me. And God granted him with that which he requested. You know what I'm telling you tonight you can change from sorrow to joy through faith in God there is no time to read all the references we have in the Bible about this but you remember Anna in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and her barrenness was changed to motherhood by faith in God. If you have been married but you are barren, the attitude of many people is to be crying day and night. And to be thinking that, well, there is something in my body or there is something missing in the body of my husband. Because of that, there can be no child. Or perhaps there is a particular dream that you always have and you say, well, it means that this is my destiny. I cannot never have a child. But Anna again she prayed. You remember that the husband was not even praying with her. The husband had accepted that situation. The husband said, Well, I love you all the same, even though there is no child. Although the husband went to Shiloh to worship, but the husband never thought about that problem, never presented that problem before the Lord. Then the husband had thought Anna will never be able to have a child, so why pray about it? Why consult doctors about it? Already we know that this woman will never be able to have a child. And so the husband had readjusted his mind to love her and to do good to her and to give her double kind of provision anytime she is going to give the wife something. Because the husband had do you know that they, there are people like that today that say well already the doctor has said it can never happen and uh, even my husband has agreed that well, we will love one another and continue to live together like that while all the other people that came to Shiloh to worship when they had finished all their worship and they had gone Anna alone was still praying unto God, believing that we can change this destiny. Maybe you know the story already. That destiny was changed. She became mother of children because of her faith in God. Boya Faith can change your barrenness to motherhood. 
Do you remember that woman with the issue of blood in the New Testament? The Bible says for 12 years she had been in that condition. And she had been carrying that shame and that suffering, that sickness all about. And she had been to many people many medical people, many doctors, physicians, and yet she could not be healed. She was getting worse all the time. It's in Mark chapter 5. From verse 27, we see the expression of the faith of this woman. In verse 27, it says, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. And there was Do you notice that there was no apostle like Peter or John to help this woman to take her to the Lord Jesus Christ? Because I know we have leaders in the church and we have a pastor by the grace of God. What I'm emphasizing is this. If those who do not have any helper, any intercessor, anybody to help them, if they got their own miracle, I about us that have all these people to help us, I'm sure we shall get what we need from the Lord. It depends on whether you are determined in faith. And a person who is determined in faith will not easily give up. And will not be grumbling and complaining, saying, My destiny can never be changed. You will know that with faith in God, that evil sin will be changed in your life. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straight where the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Faith changed her sickness to health. You will see that because she believed in God, things were changed. In Luke chapter 13 verse 16. We we'll read of the woman that was bent over because of the bondage of the devil. And this bondage had been there for 18 years. Look at it in Luke 13, 16. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound low, these 18 years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? In her own case, she didn't go to the Lord, the Lord came to her. How wonderful for you to remember today that where you are now and you are hearing this message, the Lord has come to you. And what she thought will never be changed. Because the problem had been there for 18 years. The Lord changed bondage unto freedom. And it can happen to you. Your bondage can be changed today. Whatever is binding you and tying you and not allowing you to make any progress, the bondage of the devil, the bondage of demons, everything can be broken from your life right here at this moment. Because 
Then look at John chapter 5 verse 24. Verily, verily I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Lo, to, lo, to, ni mo wi kon yin, en ni keni, ti o ba gba ro mi, ti o ba si gba eni ti o ran mi gba, oni ye ti ko ni pe kon, on ki o si wa si da jo, si gba, o ti re iku, ko ja po si ye. You can change damnation unto life eternal in the Lord. O le ye, i da le bi pa da si ye, ni nu lu wa. If you believe in God, bi o ba gba gwa ni nu alon. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, bi o ba gba gwa ni nu Jesus Christ, ni nu lu wa. All these things can be changed in your life. Bo gwa nka wa yin ali ye pa da ni nu aye re. You have been a sinner. O ti je la se tele. You can become a saint by placing your faith in Christ Jesus. O le di eni ya, mi mani kwa fi fi gba gwa resi nu Christ Jesus. You can call upon the Lord and say, Lord, here am I, change my life, change my conduct, change my character. O le ke pe ru ko lu wa ke o si pe o lu wa e the moment you repent of your sin and you call upon the name of the Lord who died for you on the cross of Calvary, all your sins will be forgiven and guilt will be changed unto justification and peace with God. Ori wipe gbogbo idalebi ati ebi esere ni yo yi pada si ayo ati igbala tuto and so today you have the opportunity nitori na loni oni anfani na that a change can come in your life pe iyi pada le sele ninu aye re anything and everything can be changed by our faith in god onkon ati on gbogbo ni o le yi pada nipa igbagbo wa ninu olorun faith in his promises who cannot lie if you can only believe and pray in faith, things that need to be changed in your life can be changed today, right at this moment. In fact, this exactly what Jesus told that man that had a child that was tormented grievously by the devil and will fall into the water, fall into the fire, said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And as I told you, we are going to pray together today. And I want you to rise up now on your feet. And really pray unto the Lord. You can change your sorrow to joy. You can change your suffering into peace. You can change your barrenness unto motherhood. You can change from sickness to hell. You can change from bondage unto freedom. And if you are a guilty sinner waiting for the punishment that comes from above because of your sin, that damnation and condemnation can be turned to life eternal today. Open your mouth and talk unto the Lord. See, first of all, the sins in your life. Because sin brings problems. Talk to the Lord, speak to the Lord in prayer. Let your prayer be saturated with faith in God. Because it is prayer of faith that will change your destiny. Call upon the name of the Lord. Tell him to forgive you if you know you are still a sinner. And tell him to give you the power to go and see no more to live a righteous life in the Lord. Speak to the Lord now is willing to hear your prayer. First, settle your relationship with God. And then, after that, all other things that need to be changed, they are going to be changed. Now, 
Believe Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. And the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I want to pray with you. And after this prayer, I want you to settle it in your mind. It is done. And sure you have heard the testimonies of other people. So why are you worried? There is no sickness that God cannot heal. There is no mountain that God cannot remove. There is no difficulty that God cannot dissolve. Believe the Lord as I pray with you and pray for you now. And after the prayer, you will do like Anna and go away joyful and happy. Knowing that the word of the Lord has settled it and the power of God has settled it in your life. Just close your eyes and bow your head as I pray with you. The person that has been waiting for operation and yet, um, you know, you don't have the money or you don't want to go and do the operation, if you raise up your hand, we'll be praying together. Father, I thank you for this moment. And I bring these people before you right now. Lord, I pray that that operation you will cancel it. And that problem, that sickness in the body of that individual, I pray by your mighty power. Remove it in Jesus' name. You devil, I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. And that problem, that sickness there, I command you, get away in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that the healing hand of the Lord will come upon these individuals now and a definite healing that we can see, a definite healing that takes place instantaneously will come upon them right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, the person that has been coughing out blood and you've been getting lean and they say maybe it's tuberculosis, whatever it is, just raise up your hand and you are going to get your deliverance. Your destiny is going to be changed. Almighty God, I look up to you now. When Jabez called upon the name of the God of Israel, you changed his destiny. You gave him all that he requested for. And you have not changed. You remain the same today. I'm asking for these people that are coughing out blood. I'm asking for them as they are getting lean and getting weak. I command and I pray that that cough and that blood, everything will pass away out of them in Jesus' name. I pray that the mighty healing hand of the Lord will come upon them now. And that sickness will be totally removed. They will be well from this moment in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. The woman who has been tormented by one of the daughters having mammoth spirit, familiar spirit, if you will raise up your hand now, all those parts will completely crumble. 
And the Lord tells me to tell you that you will see a sign even in the night that that deliverance is very definite and that evil power, that evil hand has been taken away from you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking right now that that power, that demonic power, that demonic spirit, I take complete authority over them and I break all their powers from this woman in Jesus' name. All the powers of the instruments they are using, the dark powers they are using on this woman, I cancel it. I remove it. And I neutralize everything in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray the sign you said you will give, I pray that she will know very definitely that deliverance had come completely in Jesus' name. And when those evil powers chase her in the dream or come to terrify the dream again, oh Lord, I pray they will fall and they will be defeated before her from tonight and permanently in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's now. In Jesus' name we pray. Those parents that have a particular child and the child is demonically oppressed, almost getting insane with evil spirit. If you raise up your hand now, if the child is there, lay the hand upon the child. If the child is not there, I'll pray. And then when you get back home, lay hand upon the child, deliverance has come. I want Obi Wan in here. T one or Maka T M S and Dalolo Gidi Gidi T Ori Omana Ti Pelele Yito Pelele Ni Anu Okolo Bi Omana Ba Wan Ibi Bi Owole Kyo Sino Owo Kesi No Owo Keji Soke Bi Ko Ba Sini Bi Ngoba Dora I Dan De Na Yo Si T Omana No Owo Ni Ba Inu Ruko Jesu Father in the name of Jesus Baba Ni Ruko Jesu I believe that you are at work right now Ngoba Go Kwe Wa Lenu Isheni Sisi Ye And these children that are tormented by evil spirits Awo Mo Wo Yiti Awo Mi Eshi Shin Dalolo Who are powerless and helpless because of the powers of Satan. I want to walk on in and I want to see them pray the tickles. You need to be a bar of your one and I plead the blood of Jesus upon them right now. Mopia Jesus Christ in one one is in you. I command you, demon, and you pass of darkness, get away from this child and never come back again in Jesus' name. Most of us are free when me are a mom, most of us are free and you are a bar of coco. Lord, I pray that total deliverance and complete freedom will come upon this child in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. We pray in Jesus' name. Those who are owing debts and you think there is no way to pay the debt. I want to if you just raise up your hand, the God who provided manna for the children of Israel in the wilderness will do it for you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these people now, and I pray that that death you will cancel from their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that provision will come to them. Do it, O Lord. And in your own various ways, you can do it in various ways, you can open the windows of heaven. You can send angels, you can send people. In whatever way you choose to do it, oh Lord, provide for them to solve all these problems of death in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. For those who are barren, 
I want you to raise up your hand. I want you to remember you are changing your destiny through faith. Almighty God will look up to you. You are the God that will never fail. You are the mighty one. You are the one that gave children to those who are barren in Bible days. And you said, I am God, I change now. So Lord, I pray that you do that which the doctors have called impossible. And give them the children, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Now because of our time, whatever sickness you have in your body, Whatever curse you have on yourself, whatever poison that is affecting your life, and whatever thing is affecting your life, your business, your spiritual life, anything, everything, just lay your hand upon yourself and raise up the other hand. You are the Almighty God will look up to you now. I am believing you. And I know that you will never disappoint faith. I know you always hear my prayer. I am confident that a change is taking place in these people this very moment. That curse, I remove it in Jesus' name. The poisons in their lives, I remove everything in Jesus' name. That person with the swollen tummy, I command right now, the power of God will touch you. And that thing that is swelling in your belly, everything will go out in Jesus' name. Because the person that feels something crawling in your anus, I command, that thing will die off, that thing will be removed, and you'll be totally free from the oppression of those evil forces in your life in Jesus' name. The person that is having your head dizzy as if you will fall down almost any time, I command that dizziness and that thing that is not making the blood to flow very well, I command that thing will be removed in Jesus' name. That patient that has ulcer, that ulcer will not allow you to develop. Ulcer will not allow you to eat whatever you want. I command that ulcer, get out in Jesus' name. <laughs> That man over here that has the venereal disease, I command. That pain, that venereal disease, I command you, get out completely and never come back in Jesus' name. The pain in the leg of that individual, I command that pain, you pain, be removed. You cannot remain there because I'm praying in faith. Be removed in Jesus' name. The heat in the body and the pain in the chest and the pain at the back of that individual and the pain in the very almost the center of the back of the neck. I command that you get out right now and total relief, total healing will come upon that individual in Jesus' name. Ati pelu oni ruru inira ati irora ni igbaya ati ni eyin ati ni arin eyin orun mo pa se pe gbogbo awon osoro ati wa laye ki o pora pro nu aye ni ibayi ni oruko Jesu O Lord that man that has a part of a private part of a very swollen and very painful and inconvenient I pray that the healing touch of the Lord will come upon that part of the body and the healing will come in Jesus name Oluwa mo gba dura fun eni na ti ibi kan ni ibi koko ara re ti owu ti o si je pe oni irora ti o le 
mo gbadura pe ki ase iwo san olorun ki o wa sibe bayi ki o si gba idande pipe ati iwo san ni oruko jesu that person that is almost always speaking as if you are pregnant and yet you are not pregnant and every time saliva will come to your mouth that thing that is causing that uh, a kind of feeling i command everything be removed and you are totally healed this very moment in jesus name o eni le ti o je pe ni gba gbogbo ni o ma ndi to se nu ti o si ma ntu to bi eni ti o loyun sibe o ko si loyun mo pa se fun o na ti o mu ito yi wa pe ki o na ki o gbe ki gbogbo gbogbo wo si tu ba ki o tu se ki o si ni ile ra pipe ni oruko jesus o lo touch all these people today as they are raising up their hands and touching themselves oluwa mo gbadura pe ki e fi owo kan awon eyan won yi loni bi won ti n gbe owo won soke ti won si n gbe owo yi le ara won i pray they will never be the same again mo gbadura pe ki won ki o ma sori back na mo that your fire will flow into their lives pe ki agbara yin ki o san ga ara ninu aye won that this night they will sleep like new baby pe ni asa lai gbogbo won yi o sun bi omo tun tun that all the things that have been causing pain causing anxiety causing worry in their lives you remove everything and take everything away in jesus name ti e mu o n pepo ti o tin fa rodun ti o tin fa irora ti o tin fa niyan si se sinu aye won ki e mu kuro pata pata ki o mu ki o di otun fun won ni oruko jesus lord let there be change through our faith in you from this very moment oluwa e je ki yi pada ki o sele ninu aye wa nipa igbagbo ti a ni ninu yin loni thank you lord for the answer oluwa e se ohun i down na in jesus name we pray ni oruko jesu ni agbadura i believe you have been blessed Don't let this message die. Listen to it again and pass it to others. You can get more from God at the Deeper Life Bible Church. Our headquarters is Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed are your ears for hearing these things. We'll meet in heaven if you do then. Ah! <laughs> 